Hey guys, Rusty Seed here, and here's another game jog game called All the Way Down. No idea what it is. Could be a point and click. Looks like it. Why is the resolution so bad? Where the hell did this storm come from? I don't know. Okay, looks like point and click sign. Okay, and can I move? I'm moving the controller? No? Okay, alright. I'll just use the mouse. Uh, sign? I'm a little too old to be stealing signs off the street. Why do you even want to steal it? What's that? Game saved. Okay, alright. I have nothing to mail. I imagine that's gonna stay where it is. It's stuck on the other side of the glass. Okay. Um, anything else? Oh, I can get him to move. Alright, let's go in. Oh, thank God. Listen. You local. I'm sorry? I don't recognize you. No, I was hiking and got lost in the storm. It just dropped right on me. Came out of nowhere. Lost my pack, lost everything. I'm very sorry to hear that. The nearest town is about eight miles to the west. Follow the road, past the pub, and onto the main track out of the village. Well, hold on a minute. I can't walk in this. Have you seen the weather? It's beyond lucky I even found this place. You don't know how wrong you are. Where, uh, is this place, by the way? I don't remember seeing anything in this area on my map. Before I lost it, that is. You're in Millvale. A small mining village. Mine's closed now, of course. They don't put us on maps. Not anymore. Okay. Uh... Okay. What can you tell me about Millvale? Well, not much really. I'm not local. I live in Hartington, a few villages over. My employer, they shut up shop there, so I had a choice of taking the job here or being made redundant. Seems like an eternity ago now. This place, it... Well, I shouldn't burden you with my problems. Well, sorry. Uh... How are you gonna get home? I'll weather the storm in the shop tonight. It's safe enough, I think. Could I, uh, maybe stay here tonight? Keep you company? No! I'm sorry. I don't think that would be a good idea. I don't know what they think of me putting up a stranger. Sure, I guess. Well, we're both in the same boat, aren't we? <laughs> uh, what do you think I should do? Brave the storm. It's better than anything you'll find in Millvale. You gotta be joking me. Do you know anywhere I could stay? Stay? In Millvale? You mean overnight? Sure. I'm not sure that would be a good idea. The next town is really not that far. Just stick to the road and keep your head down. Are you nuts? Five minutes ago, I was resigned to freezing to death in the dark. Anything is better than eight miles in this. <sighs> Try the miner's arms. It's just down the road. They don't generally put people up. But they might be able to do something. What are you hiding? Where did you say I should go for a bed? In the miner's arms. It's just down the road. Alright, uh... Can I use your phone? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The storm knocked out the main trunk line. Not that it would do you any good, of course. The storms made the roads far too treacherous for anything. And you still want me to walk out into the storm? I guess I'll get going. Take care. Yeah, like you care. Great, and now I gotta walk. Uh, do I walk out or something? Okay. There's plenty of houses here. Okay, that's very odd. Whoa! Are you local? <sighs> Can I please get past? 
Just go Blocking running. the sidewalk, pal. Not local, then. Not local, no. Next village is not far. Just be on your way. Now for here. What's wrong with him? Jesus, what's wrong with these people? Yeah. I know, huh? his arms. It's way too high to even touch. Why do you even want to touch it? They don't look like they open. Oh, well, we'll make them open. Cool. Nice and cozy. Hey up there, lad. What can I get for you? Hi there. Honestly, it's just nice to not be asked if I'm local. Oh, it's quite clear to me that you aren't. You don't have quite the right look about you. What look? You know, that's exactly what I thought. What can I get for you, then? The warm bed is really what I need. I was speaking to the lady at the store just down the street, and she said you might be able to put me up for the night. I know it's an imposition, but I've got cash, and I'm willing to pay extra for your trouble. She said that, did she? Sorry? Girl up at Spa. Yeah. Alright, you know what, lad? I do have a room for you. It's been a while since it's been used, but I'm sure I can make you comfortable enough under the circumstances. Thank you. That's very reasonable of you. Just sit tight, lad. You're a fool. Excuse me? A damned fool, if ever there was one. Well, you're awfully polite. Must be that British charm. Can't you feel it, laddie? Can't you feel the evil? You're drunk. Aye, ah, it's the only way to be in Millvale. Alright, I'll bite. I got nowhere else to be. What is it then? Satanic cult? Serial killer? Because let me tell you, I've seen every bad horror movie. <laughs> That's the thing with people, isn't it? If there's something out to get you, it's just another person with fewer scruples than yourself. Sit yourself down, laddie. I'll tell you. Alright. Something's wrong with this town. And they're not telling me what it is. Bloody hell. Bloody pigs broke right in half. They don't make them like I used to ask for bloody show. It started just as rumours. Noises here and there. Where is everyone? Hello? Sound off down there. How queer. Looks pretty interesting. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save it here and pause it right here. And I will continue in the next episode. It looks pretty interesting. Can't wait to go through a whole playthrough of this. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Rusty Sid over and out.